There is no escape from Stalin, even for exiles. He invokes prior agreements with the Allies to ensure that emigres in their hands are returned to his control. General Krasnov, Ataman of the Don Cossacks, has been fighting Bolsheviks since 1918. His army of 70,000 Cossacks has fought for Germany. At the end of the war, they surrender to the British, who promise them immunity from Stalin's revenge. But on Stalin's demand, British authorities break that promise. Soldiers surrounded them and forced them into lorries. There were about 40, 50 lorries. They took them to one side of the bridge and our detachments were waiting for them on the other side. They got out of the lorries and crossed the bridge on foot. Then the wives and the soldiers arrived. The officers were taken. They didn't have to walk. Two tried to throw themselves into the river, but they were stopped. The English major, who had handed them over, watched as they were shot by the NKVD. One of the women clutched her two children, who were only about three or four, and threw herself into the river from the bridge, which was about 80 to 100 meters high. That's how it was. Shouts, cries, noise. Then everyone got into the train and, and they were sent away. <laughs> 